Tawiti mainland island where we're doing intensive stoat and rat control and the rats are completely out of control in fact. I mean this 45% up here is um, completely intolerable rat level in that forest. But in Rotorua, which is nearby where nothing happens, there's no pest control at all, the rats have stayed low. Um, so the rat control is not, it's not good rat control? Well, it's very, rat. well it's experimental rat control, so in fact the rat control, and it hasn't worked, but mm. that's fine, you know, because they're yeah. just trying something out. But I think the point I want to make is with the other pest control, they're, which they're doing very good possum and stoat control there, um, it just looks like things are out of control to me. And like they asked if they could put more hoa in that mainland island a few years ago, and we said, well, let's have a look at your rat tracking rates, and you just go, oh, no way, this is a waste of time. That wouldn't last five minutes. So in fact, I was expecting to see more rats in the Rotoroa block, because it goes, there's a little bit of podocarp forest right down by the lake at Rotoroa, which there's no podocarps at all in the Rotoiti one. So this is percentage in tracking tunnels? Tunnels, rats. yeah. And now there's another bit of there's a couple of other bit of evidence, evidence for this um, notion that getting rid of the uh, stoats and possums makes things worse for the rats. And um, a few it was probably about ten years ago there was a rat tracking study done through throughout New Zealand where they just were sort of trying to learn about rat tracking. It was a bit of a novel thing at the time, and they compared rat tracking rates in, in pest controlled and non pest controlled forests. And there were there were more rats in the pest controlled forest than the non pest controlled forest. Um, so anyway, in that study there were more rats in the treated forest than non-treated forest, but there was all sorts of other things going on there, because throughout the whole country there was a whole pile of different forest types involved, so in, you know, it's not terribly compelling. And then my colleague Josh Kemp did a... Um, he, was, he was looking at the efficacy of 1080 con operations for controlling rats in Golden Bay, and they had four operations where they monitored rats in them. Two had had previous treatment, two hadn't, and we had lower rat numbers in the forest that had never, never been treated before and had no ongoing pest control. So it's a building picture. Um, 